hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm so happy to be here today um i have just gotten the opportunity to do my um postpartum update for the first time ever if you hear someone talking, <laughs> that's yara down here She's, she woke up I, plan, I wanted to do this before she woke up but she did and now here we are so um we're just gonna uh just continue with her welcome back if you're new here my name is cynthia and i am a first time mom to a beautiful girl called yara and yeah today i'm gonna be talking about my postpartum i'm currently what almost uh, i am currently um almost three months ago like two months there postpartum and um i just wanted to come on here and update you guys and just let you guys know how it, how it started how it's going on and i'm gonna keep updating you as time goes by yeah so i think i'm gonna have to pick her up because <laughs> i don't think she's gonna lashes in a bouncing chair so anyway so I have my notes here because I have been, as usual, documenting how I'm feeling and all that. Yeah, so um, as you guys know, um, I got, I was given an episiotomy. So an episiotomy, for those who do not know, is when the doctor um, helps you open up more by um, cutting you um, either uh, like is it diagonal, like a diagonal or I was cut uh, diagonal and up, up going towards my Anus, yes. So that's how my cut was. Uh, so it was like it was like a V. It was like this, yeah. So at first it was like like immediately when it's being done, it's not painful. I didn't feel anything. I just had the snipping. Uh, then you stitch right after, and you know like you're fine. There's really nothing much to it after that because you, you know, like there's the numbing cream and sorry guys, yeah. There's the numbing cream and then there's the um. Yeah, so there's the numbing cream and there's the um, <laughs> the medication that you're given. Very strong painkillers, like you feel nothing at that point. I can tell you for sure, like when I was in hospital, I would feel some pain here and there, but then it was not anything substantial because the minute I would start feeling it, I would call the doctor. And are you gonna let mama vlog? Um, I would call the doctor and they would come and talk me up immediately. So it was not too bad. So we left the hospital after like two, two day, two nights. Only slept there two nights, and then we left and came home. So when you're leaving, they give you um, stool softeners. I was given, I think they're called suppositories. I, 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 I hope I'm pronouncing that right. So those are the ones that you put up your ass. Um, so um, I came home and immediately I put them up because I had not gone for a long call. <laughs> Um, the whole time since I had given birth, so um, I put them up or my my boyfriend helped me because you really can't do it because you can imagine you have stitches so it's a bit hard to do it she's not gonna let me prosper um, so yeah so they, you need uh, some assistance because you can imagine you have stitches you really don't know what's what <laughs> yeah so um, I put them in and like immediately I started feeling the craziest pressure to go to the washroom so i was like wow okay these things work really fast so i went to the washroom and it was like an explosion and i was like okay well that's crazy i think i'm gonna have to hold her okay give me a sec there. yeah um so now she's happy <laughs> are we happy okay yeah so um it was really fast and i was like okay that was crazy fast how comes they work that fast you know and i remember um like I, there was really nothing to it, so I we could, I continued now in, in, like with my healing, um, but then so you're supposed to do first of all you're supposed to do um, six baths. These are uh, you put like you put water in um, in a six bath, and then you sit on it. That helps you heal faster. So I started doing this, and um, I noticed that my pain was not going away. It was actually getting worse. So I was like, okay, so we were constantly talking to, with my doctor. So we asked her, uh, and she was also really concerned because she was like, okay, um, it's actually supposed, you're going to feel bad like the third day, but then after that, it should get a bit easier because you know, like you have uh, medicine and all that. So then she was like, okay, no, just give it some time and let's see how you, you, you fare on. So um, it, it, it just, after that, it just kept getting worse and worse and worse. Like, let me tell you, I was in the craziest pain. I have ever felt let me tell you i would rather i kept telling my boyfriend that i would rather 
give birth a million times than what I was feeling that time. Like, and I was, trust me, it's not that I was not on medication. I was on some very strong painkillers that would even knock me out. Like, it was, it was so serious that it would knock me out. I think it was even affecting the baby because she was always, the, okay, they say that newborns are always sleepy, but we, kind, we were kind of um, worried that they were actually affecting her because she was always sleeping, like, but, you know, okay, like, it did help me a bit because she was not as awake during that time, so I was not, um, you know, having to um, stress so much about it, but we were very concerned. Yeah, so when it did get better, like, by the second week, um, I was like, you know what, I told, the, I told my, my boyfriend that, you know what, you need to check what is going on because I was feeling like... I, I just I just couldn't take it anymore. I couldn't sit like even you know like the way they tell you like you can just sit like propped a bit. It was not working out for me. I was in so much pain. I couldn't walk. Um, like it was just really really bad. Yeah. So um, <laughs> she really like she really doesn't like it when I'm not giving her attention. <laughs> hey, it's okay. I'm almost done. It's okay, right? Yeah. Yeah, so um, so we went there, we went we went and he checked and he was like, okay, you know what? Uh, remember in my labor and delivery video, I told you guys that he checked um, after the doctor was done stitching me when we, after I had just given birth, just to confirm that everything was in order. So now he checked again. It was like, you know what? This is not what I saw um, when we were in hospital. This, like, I think uh, the stitches uh, came loose and we need to tell the doctor. So I was like, oh my god. Guys, I was, I was so, like, that's, you, you don't want to hear that. After all that you're going through and all the pain, you, you don't want to be told that I think your stitches have come loose. Like, at this point you're expecting to do, you know what, actually it looks pretty good. I think it's just a normal healing process, you know. So he was like, okay, we need to, we need to clearly need to just talk. So we took photos and we took, we sent them to my doctor. I think I'm gonna have to feed him. Yeah. So um, so when we sent them to the doctor, um, the doctor was like, okay, um, this is not what is supposed to be happening. You guys need to come in for stitching. I was like, this was. Just, I remember I broke down and I was, I was just so upset that this was happening. Yeah, I was so upset that this was happening because I had had such an amazing and positive experience so far that I was like, okay, I guess there's no story that doesn't have a downward, a downward, like, and, and I don't know what to call it. Like, I could not just have had a positive experience from the word go till the end. So I was like, okay, you know what, um, it's fine, um, I'm gonna take it as it is. So, um, I, we had to go the following day, um. So that I could get restitched, guys, and it, it okay, like the restitching was not as bad. Um, okay, give me a second, yeah, I'm back. So the restitching was not as bad, um, it was pretty standard. What was uh, a bit painful was the fact that she had to inject me, like in the wound, like all around the wound, so that it could be she could numb it. That was the part that I did not enjoy one bit because you can imagine it's a wound, it's it, it was just it was just nasty and I, I was i don't know at that point i feel like i was just on autopilot because i was I, so much was going through my mind uh you can imagine i had left my baby at home um i was not happy about that i remember i cried because i really didn't want to leave her and um she's just being fussy i don't know <laughs> she doesn't like it when i'm doing anything else but i had set up so i had to just do this i'm sorry honey okay um, yeah, so she did the numbing, then she went in and stitched again, and I felt much better. Then now you can imagine after now that stitching, the journey started all over again. So I had to do this part so that I could now give you guys the postpartum update the right way. So I needed you guys to know this part first, and then um, so the reason um, I had sorry. So the reason my stitches came came off or reopened was because of the suppositories. So remember when I started the story, I told you guys that the day that I went to the washroom after I had put the the, the medicine, I, it was like it, it just came out with so much force. So when it that force 
made the stitches come off uh, but i didn't know because like i didn't expect that to happen and i didn't feel any pain at that point so um i, I never really thought to check or like you know and you you're already bleeding so any sort of bleeding that you see at that point you would not think that it's your stitches that have come off you'll just think okay yeah it's like you know it's just the normal bleeding that's taking place yeah so guys um that's what happened like it was it was such for me that was such a traumatic um, experience i really didn't it was that i would say like uh, was was just the craziest part of this uh, recovery for me of course it gets crazier um like now when you're healing but that experience in itself like having to go back for the stitching was really tough for me i i it really took a lot for me and i i really struggled with that part yeah so um i'm gonna end this specific video here okay. so that now i can come back and talk to you guys yeah. about now my recovery um i've noticed that if i combine the two it's gonna be too long and i want to just make it very short so that i can tell you guys um like what i went through like how my recovery was what my um, i would say symptoms like you know all that and i can also maybe talk about what helped me um recover faster though i am still recovering Two months down the line i am still a bit sore um there's some things i still can't do you know um but it's definitely getting easier by the day it's definitely getting easier and i'm so so thankful for that because that was crazy it was so crazy <laughs> um and i think at that point i was not really ready to talk about it um because it was it was just too much for me uh, so I didn't want like I remember like you guys kept asking me to do my labor and delivery video at that point And I was going through all that But I couldn't uh, like come on online and tell you guys no this and this is what happened because for me I usually have to like process things first so that I can talk about them Yeah, so um, I'm gonna end this video here then I'm gonna now come back with the in it now like the actual postpartum recovery um, Story yeah, so I hope you like this video if you do please give it a thumbs up and remember to like, share, and subscribe. Bye.